Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and today I'm going to show you a quicker way to lay steel bars on two and one way slab. Welcome to this tutorial once again, I'm Maurice Dimba and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and we'll get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, this is the model we are going to reinforce. Uh, we are going to lay steel bars on the slab. Now, let me just change, the, my, uh, change my view by clicking Control 4. Or you can go straight to rendering here after clicking the view, then pick parts rendered. Now, let's switch back to transparent views so that we can see everything we lay inside the slab. And this is the slab we want to lay our steel bars in. Now, let me just come back to rendering and pick on uh, wireframe right there. And from here, we can uh, see actually see what has happened on the beams the steel bars has been laid on the beams now we want to place or, or or lay steel bars on our slab and as you can see if you're if you're not keen enough you cannot be able to to locate where our slab is but if you hover your cursor right like this you'll be able to see the slab this is a slab we went we intend to reinforce or lay our steel on this is a slab you, you can see the outline of our slab all over the model let me just zoom in back zoom in now remember one thing one way slab is supported by beams on the two opposite sides which in our case is uh, this side this side is our balcony this is this is the balcony which he, we takes uh, our category on uh, one way uh, i mean one way slab is supported on the opposite on two opposite beams this one and this one now on the two-way slab the slab is supported by beams on the four sides now in this case is this is the interior part of of these of this model or, or of this structure now balconies will be our way in, uh, i mean one-way slab yeah, that is enough and then uh, let's switch back to steel uh, reinforcement or uh, let's go to uh, slab reinforcement and to do that we'll go straight to applications and component here we'll, we'll click on this uh, radio button here then uh, just if you're familiar with the numerical name of of this macro you just type 18 or you can just type slab slab on your on uh, on your keyboard and scroll down you can just scroll down just pick on slab then pick click inside this dialog box then scroll down just scroll down and uh, we can reach it here and just scroll here we are slab bars slab bars numerically known as 18 now we want to work with this macro this macro will take us so quick in the in, in placing our rebars or arranging our rebars on our slab now I'll, I'll click on this this one also works but i'll show on the next presentation how this one works now let me just today really work with this macro on how to quickly lay steel bars on our slab now i'll go straight and click on this now the moment you click on this you'll be able to read from the bottom end here that you pick on the on the object you intend to reinforce or you intend to lay steel bars on now let me just zoom in and i want to target my slab i'll hover my cursor just on the edge of my slab and you'll see the it is outlined right there let me just zoom out and you'll be able to see the slab we are going to lay steel bars on this is the slab it's taking the entire model slab now let me just zoom in and i'll go ahead and, and pick on it that it is the part we intend to lay our steel bars on i'll click on it there we are with just a click the steel bars has been arranged now what is remaining is now just adjusting the 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 settings that will suit your requirements depending on the thickness of your slab let me just right click and interrupt just to exit from that uh, macro then i'll click on empty screen to deselect everything so that we can just check it first prior to double clicking on the on the on the bars that to uh, i mean to take us to the 
a dialog box where we'll be able to manipulate uh, the arrangement of our steel bars on the slab. Let me just come to navigate here. Then I'll want just to rotate this. I'll pick the point, a point where I intend to rotate this model about. Let me just press that. Pick on that spot. Then I'll just zoom in. Then I'll just press my left button on the mouse, and I'll be able to turn this round. And uh, you can see how the the steel has been arranged on our slab. This is how it looks. Now this is my these are my settings and uh, I had prepared this prior to clicking on it. Now I'll just double click on it and to sh and show you how to place your own settings or measurements that will suit a particular uh, slab thickness of your choice. Let me just turn this round like that. Let me just turn that and it can just go under the slab. You can see under the slab how it does look. That's how it looks. We have hooks here, and I'll show how to control the the lengths and the angles of the bends of and uh, the length of the hooks. Let me just go back where I was on top of the slab. I'll right click and exit by clicking interrupt. Now I want to double click on this so, so that uh, I can go to to a dialog box where I will be able to change the settings of all this. Let me just double click on that. Here we are, and uh, and remember also this macro. This uh, this dialog box normally it's normally bigger, uh, mostly on some screens and uh, screens, and you you might not be able to see the buttons on top here. And remember also to install uh, Tecla Structure sc uh, Screen Controller, and you'll be able to uh, find a way of how to manipulate this dialog box. Now I want to manipulate it and and to reach my tabs on top here I just click on this then i'll click this drop down arrow and be able to move down like that now from here you can just look we have uh, to, uh, uh, the top bars and uh, the bottom bars this is the off distance from my framework and uh, this is the distance of the crossing bars to the framework that is my pref uh, preferred arrangement now creating the bars i've picked both sides the moment i just click uh, every, uh, all the bars will be will be, uh, will be created on both sides longitudinal and the crossing bars now on the prim or primary direction just leave it as that direction just give auto don't pick on the, any of this if you intend to move quicker and control things once they have been created. Now on the bottom bars tab, we have two categories here. We have this category and this category. The the primary bars and the secondary bars. Our primary bar size is 12. This one here, you can see it's slightly bigger than this one. And uh, the secondary bars running across is 8 millimeter. In, in diameter and it's also running center to center 200 and this one also running center to center 200 and uh, the off distance between the edge of the slab i fell 25 millimeter and also uh, i mean all, on all round 25 millimeter 25 millimeter let me just scroll down so that can you scroll up so that you can see the bottom end here now end conditions left the bands here are fed 90 and uh, the length of my band I give uh, 20 depending on the thickness of my slab this one here I gave it 90 same 90 same 90 and, and uh, 20 here then let me just sc scroll down so that we can see we can move to the the next tab which is the top slab let me just uh, click uh, that drop down arrow then I come to top bar and the top bar the same same arrangement the primary bar similar to the bottom bar which is uh 12 millimeter uh, radius i mean diameter and the spacing is, is 200 center to center same to crossing bars which is the secondary bars in this case is uh, eight millimeter thickness running center to center to uh, 200 millimeter and uh, bar generation of uh, selected group, not mesh. 
group we, we, uh, which means the, the moment i hover my cursor on top of it everything gets selected and i have the power to manipulate how to manipulate or if i change one particular part everything uniformly take effect by changing or matching to what i've just fed on my on this dialog box now a crossbar location below now the settings are just the same end condition i gave it end condition left and uh, end condition top 90 degrees uh, bend bend length 2020 and uh, bend length on end condition right and uh, end condition bottom 90 length of of that is 30 millimeter depending this depends on the thickness of your slab now i just scroll down to just to reach other parts here so the moment you've done everything the way you want it to be or you can just pick my settings and try this if you can do it yourself will be fantastic let me just scroll down if you find any problem please just comment down there i'll be able to respond back to you or give you another alternative on how to do it now attributes we don't need anything to do with attributes maybe you want to name you want to give prefix to your steel bars in my case i can just feed y and uh, i mean on the top bars and uh, and the bottom and, and the primary bars i can give maybe r and the and the top one i can give maybe y also and this one also can give r that's just an example and you can define your way of giving prefix to your bars and the number uh, and the number starts from whichever number you wanted to start from in my case i've left it on the default is to start at one now let's switch back to uh, top bars just to take you on the settings that i've used uh, which I, I mean if you intend to use a similar settings to create your own please let me just sc uh, scroll down so that you can see everything here let me just scroll down everything is there let me just scroll down once again or up and pick and, and click on the bottom bars so that you can see everything so that you can apply uh, the same 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 settings to create your to uh, to create your own now let's go on the picture tab this is how it looks on a cross-sectional view now there we are and we'll go straight away once you've done everything you just go ahead and click modify and apply and accept the the, the settings will be picked and it will be applied on your slab that's how it's done and let me just click on empty screen right there to deselect what i've just selected let me click rotate so that you can see how this thing looks these are the hooks for our slab let me just zoom out let me just switch back to plan view this is how it looks from the top this is how it looks from the top remember it has covered even on our one-way slabs which are the balconies this side and this side are covered automatically and uh, a stair a staircase part let me just press control for and you can see this lot ha has been also considered in in, uh, in uh, steel bar arrangement no slab it has not been covered by steel so that void has been left out or it has been neglected for provision of our staircase now let me just switch back by controlling two by press control two and this will take us to a transparent view where we'll be able to see everything inside our slab let me, and uh, let me switch back by pressing control p and this will take us to isometric view of our model here and this is how it looks and that is how it's done in, a, in the quickest way this is how it looks i didn't lay my my beams my steel bound the beams here but that is not a, uh, a big deal i've showed you how to do that and you can do that by yourself if you find any difficulty please just comment down there i'll be able to respond back to you and in the, uh, this point i'll wind up and thanks a lot for watching this video i'm morris dimba and don't forget to subscribe and let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye